City Department. Who? Oh, Brian, eh? Okay. Yeah, I'll get a statement. Thanks, Charlie. Bye. Give me police headquarters. Police headquarters. Mm -hmm. Bedroom. Just a moment, please. Hello. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Good. Sure, I'll pull my story in as soon as I see O'Brien. Oh, is that a break for you? Somebody just told me that Bill O'Brien's got a little tendency for making up a telepinch. Yeah. What did I tell you guys? I said it wouldn't happen. O'Brien was the only cop around here that had guts enough to pinch McGill for murder. Well, they have taken guts to pinch it. But it'll take facts. It'll take facts. And O'Brien thinks somebody's going to convict him. Oh, oh, Nah, it's the central office. Hey, it's O'Brien. Did you come inside? Yeah. Good, I'll get him. What for? You don't think he's going to talk, do you? Sure he will. Not when that's the trial, he won't. Oh, you think so? Wait. Oh, Bill. Come on in a minute. Oh, hello, William. Oh, Lieutenant, I mean. Hello there, Bill. I knew you had a kid. Tell that. Why would you? Thanks, boys. Well, Bill, let's have a story. Well, there isn't any story now. And after the trial, you won't have to ask me for one. Oh, no, I didn't vouch for Wilson. Did the commissioner kiss you on both cheeks when he took you to that? Hello? Yeah. He may be a lieutenant in the homicide detail. That's all. There's nothing to say. Tell us for you. Ready? Oh. O'Brien speaking. Daddy just told me. He's as happy about it as I am. Oh, Bill, it's wonderful for you, dear. For me? For us. I want to tell you just how much it really means to me. I've got to take the rest of my life. I guess Andrew wants to see you this minute. Tell him I'll be right now. I sure do. Me too. Awful sure. Goodbye, dear. What did you hear about Bill? Well, in the district attorney's office. I was in there for an hour, sis. In the district attorney's office? Sure. I'm going to be the state's big witness against Mike Patello. Oh, Johnny. Well, I got to be, sis. I'm the only one that saw Mike Patello. Oh, Johnny, you can't do nothing. If Patello's convicted on your testimony, they'll be. Better help me for the squad. Mike's mob. Oh, they'll do nothing. Now, you're, you're my old sister and all that. And I'll take your advice on most anything. But this time, I've got to listen to the district attorney of Bill O'Brien. Did Bill tell you to talk? No. But he will. Hey, or not, it's all I got to do. You don't understand, Ruth. I just got to do it. Now, quit worrying. You know, got more important things to think about. Go tell O'Brien to go to your office now, Captain. Hello. Lieutenant. Good morning, Captain. Brian, how long has it been since you heard from your phone? Just how much do you know, Captain? Seen him once in 15 years, about a year ago. Does he know that you're a police officer? No, he hates cops. And he thinks they hate him. He but hated me. I kind of had to get acquainted with him. I told him something. I don't know what. You know, I knew your father when I was on the beat. He's a two-time loser. Now that you've got him put on me, he doesn't know I did it. When a man has been thinking of nothing but freedom for 10 years and gets it, it's good to let him think he got it himself. Good behavior. That's what they're telling him. Commissioner made you lieutenant because he thinks nothing can stop you. You put Patello in a cell. You're sitting in top of the world right now. If the old man breaks his parole, he'll break you. Think that over. I've had plenty of time to think it over, Captain. You read the letter. That is my dad. And he's coming home. Dad, I'd love to be there when you tell old John P. he's got a cover for his son. And I'd love to have you. Limo! Why? If it ain't old John Peel Bryant. Limo, sit down. I didn't know you. I swear I didn't. It's been so long. Where'd you come from? Been in the snow But I thought you were... Oh, I know you. You thought I was still eating on the Jackson, didn't you? Yeah, I did real bad. Yeah. Well, I got myself out. Ow. I'm telling you. Oh, you don't really believe that now, do you? Oh, listen, I'm running that joint. And take a long time to blow. For what? Behave him. 
All of us did see last night. And what's more, the sun has to be the ever will see. Don't think it, Big John. Maybe young as it used to be. Mm. I couldn't myself if I were you. Don't say anything about cutting. Did I? I did not. Mm-mm. Let's go someplace where we can talk confidential like this. Let's go. Let's hurry. What's wrong with that? Oh, it's grand. Wait, you get it, Lionel. Did you uh, ever hear of Mike Patillo? Here we are, John. Hi, well, John. Here we are. is doing in there. What are you to do with such a thing as that? Come here, Dan, and I'll tell you. Will you take your hands off me? What is all this nonsense? That's my uniform. Your uniform? My uniform. The uniform. Let me have it, Edo. Out of my way. I'll stay under the same roof with an old flat-footed bull. Get out of my way. Where are you going? Go to that door. No, you're not. I didn't want to tell you that the morning, Dad. I've been on the force eight years. That's how I found where you were. I know you're dead, cop. But that's all over now. You're going to come here and live with me. Start over again. Get out of my way. No, no, son of mine. Stay away from the front there. Let me go. Go on. Go on. Oh. We should be staying out for half a night again, eh? Oh, I'm not bad. I'm just going down to the gym for a workout. Well, then, cops again, eh? Bad company you're keeping, Bill. They won't do you any good. Ah, oh, listen, Dad. Those boys are all... Oh, it's cool. I thought the guy's acted funny when I was cooking with him. Say, didn't I remind you to pay the guy's bill last week? You didn't even it. It ain't honest, Bill. It ain't honest. Ain't it enough that I whip my fingers to the bone trying to run this place? What I think of everything, huh? I'll attend to it tomorrow. Forget the dishes, Dad. The housekeeper will clean them up in the morning. Mm. I'm breaking on a plate. Have I broken one single dish? I have not. On what credit line did... I'll go, Dad. Oh, what's the matter, dear? Oh, oh, my, if you don't look up at you. Good evening, Dad. Darling, it's the pleasure of your company I'll have to be depriving myself of. I've got to go out on business, see? Good night, darling. Good night, Good night, Good night Dad. Good night, Dad. Tell me, dear, what's the matter? Oh, Bill, try to understand me. Please try. You're the only one who can help me. It's about Johnny. Johnny? Yes. I made up my mind to ask you to do something. Promise me you will. Well, what is it? Promise me. Honey, you know you don't have to make me promise to do anything for you. This is Bill, the guy that loves you. It's a child that's convicted, Bill, Bill. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You can't let him get up there but honey, you don't seem to realize how Johnny feels. He's a cop, and a good one. That's why he's going to testify against the cop. Oh, I understand all of that. But there's something that you seem to have forgotten. Johnny's just a kid. It isn't fair, Bill. But Ruth. You want to convict 
direction, don't you, Bill? Had your own dick and nothing to do with it. If I've been ambitious, you know the reason. I tried to be something for your sake. Something besides a flat foot pounding a beast. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I could be happy with you if you were still pounding a beast. It's just that I'm strong, please. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You need to say the word. Who believes in you so? That's just why I can't ask him to be a quitter. Not even for his own sake. Not even for your sake. Or mine. Bill, I ask you to do something for me. Something that meant everything. Now there's really nothing more to be said. Bro, please. Why? I didn't want it to be a test, but it was. Robin, listen to me. Oh, no, so, so much rather you said nothing. And so, so, don't say that you love me. Wait, I'll go with you. I'll do not to. Have a head for the car. I'm quite safe. Very well. Good night, dear. Goodbye, Bill. Uh-huh. If it's in the window, it's phony. Marie Rice is in the box. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Come on, Rhino. I've got a date, John. Who? Tony Zurich, you know, he's a big shot with Mike Petillo. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, Tony and me are just, uh... Well, get out, John. Read up. You can read, can't you? Yes, why? Listen. Read it up to the grooming, I see. Tell me you want to run a room. Now, get this. None of the rooms suits you until they show you room 19. 19, see? Look it. And tear up or burn up the paper. Why don't you see it? But, uh, Jack. No. Take two weeks out in the room and uh, keep the rest. What do you do, Mr. Derrick? Let me in on it. Listen. I'm giving you a nice little place where you can be happy at. See? Because I like you. See? Hey, look. You want me to make a range on me? Sure. That's it. How about a smoking, Mr. Derrick? No. They're too good for you. You wouldn't understand it. But tell us private plan. The current. Scram. What is it, Tony? A job for Patillo? Open your trap and I think I'm next. That room is poison, see? Oh, I see. Oh, I've got to plant this right. It's getting hot. Off the spot, John. My room. Here. I'm sure you'll be safe. As if it was in a grave, John. Here. Smoke a real one. This is the Kello's private grave. Mm. All right, thanks, Lionel. Listen, I'll tell you how to get there. Take the cross down car. Get off the coast. Walk down the car. No, Bill. You might win. <laughs> well, I gotta be on the way. Good night, Bill. Good night, John. Hey, uh, Johnny. Yeah. Close the door. <clears throat> Before you go, I want to tell you something. Yeah, sure. The district attorney wants you to testify against the teller, doesn't he? Well, sure. Well, kid, he can't make you say you saw the killing if you don't want to. Well, he isn't gonna have to make me say it. I'm gonna talk and talk plenty. Listen, we have to get some mob that's dynamite. I want you to remember that you've got an out. Nick's Bill. I know you're looking at it that way on my account, but maybe I am. Sure you are. And gee, Bill, I... You don't know how much I can. I'll see. We'll be working together long after that. That's where he belongs. That's right, kid, but just the same. Remember what I told you. Don't you go worrying about me. All right, boy. 
Good night, Bill. Good night, Johnny. Captain, you could have knocked me down with a trunk when I found out that he was Bill O'Brien's father. Did you recover this stuff? No, sir. O'Brien, know anything yet? No, sir. When I found out who Jonesy was, I went in. Things put it together so good is why I brought him in. Now I've come to you to find out where I stand. Where are you at, Jonesy? Right outside, sir. Step in there, man. I close the door. Can you hear me now? Just as plain as if I was in the same room with you, sir. Now that you bring John P. into that room from the outer entrance, and don't let him say a word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And remember, don't let him explain no matter what happened here. Okay, Captain. Captain, Captain. Hello, Lou. Send Bill up to my office, will you, please? How do you feel about tomorrow, Bill? Good, sir. You mean the trial? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Cutter's going to rest his case when Mr. Jonadale comes off the stand. Ah, oh, that's smart. The defense won't be able to do very much with a jury that just hurt that boy to tell the truth. Think of it. Hey, is that your father? No, Captain. Perhaps you should be. Why do you say that? I've been wondering about your father. I've been wondering if he's on the square with you. What do you think? I'm sure. How sure? Positive. Captain, I've come to know my dad lately. I know the stuff he's made of, what he's got in him. He's going on the level with me, and I've got everything I have in the world on it. Don't worry about it. Hope you're right. Bill, you got a hard day. I've got it. Okay, Captain. Sit down. No ticket standing up if you don't mind. You don't remember me, do you, Brian? I know you. I know all about you. You do? Yes. You've broken the parole your son got for you. The devil crossed him in the big house. He's looking at you. You say it was Billy got me for home? You don't suppose you done it, do you? So it was Billy. You'd be up there yet if it weren't for him. Why have you done that stuff in the jury store? Who? Oh. I can get it. Good. I'm going to give you one chance to come clean. You don't deserve it, but your boy does. He tried to make a father out of you. Bring me that stuff here. I'll put you in the clear, but it'll be for the last time. I never tell Billy? Certainly not. Why do you think I'm giving you this break? Oh, bless you, Captain. I'll bring it to you in my own hands. Well, let me tell you something. When an O'Brien's wrong, he's wrong. And it takes an O'Brien to put him right. Will you please answer my question? Yes, sir. The name of that person? Nice 
take a walk in the corner, Mr. Teller? No. When I get out of this cell, I'm going out for good. No, Mike. Not for good. Because I'm going to put you back in there for the murder of Johnny Dale. Yeah. And when are you going to make the pinch? When would you like it? Suppose you wait until you can make it stick. I'll wait just that long. You can't. There isn't that much time. The rest of my life is at stake. But the odds are 100 to 1 that I'm going to live the longest. I'll take the short end of that at any odds. You can order your release, Mr. Hill. Hold it. Court order. Did you say move for dismissal? What else could he do? Come on, get it open. Say, Copper. I'm a citizen of this bird. See? It ain't so safe around here. Too much shooting. I demand the police escort to my car. Oh. I'll take you down myself. Well, Mike, I wouldn't have anything happen to you for all the money in the world. for Mr. Mike Patello. No one smokes them but Mr. Mike Patello. You know that. Come back. Uh, Mr. Cody, do it here? Hey, you. Where have you been? Just heard you wanted me, Mr. Cody, and you came up as quick as I could. Inside. This is the monk. What's your name? Uh, Lionel, uh, Charlie Lewis, Mr. Pacello. Did you ever see this before? Why, I thought the old man had got it. What old man? Why, old Brian. He leave me out of Charlie, you're crazy. Old man, old Brian. Oh, Charlie, you don't understand it. It's the cop's old man. He ran it over. What did you say? Oh, Mr. Pacello, I gotta have this stuff. What was that crack about? Uh, nothing, Mr. Pacello. I only. Uh, what about the cop's old man? Uh, the cop's old man made a fag. What cop? Uh, Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien's father. That's not there. Oh, I don't know nothing about it, Mr. Pacello. Except that Lieutenant William O'Brien's father is a crook. Uh, no, no, Mr. Pacello, you don't get me. Uh, no, I don't get you. Oh, no. Tony, does this mean anything to you? Sure. I believe him. Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. The trouble with you, Tony, is you never learn to think. Now try hard, and I'll teach you. Bill O'Brien is out to get us, right? I suppose I don't know it. His old man turns out to be a crook. Yeah. He can do 20 years for that. What would that do to O'Brien? Where did it bust him? Mm. You're showing signs. <laughs> when Bill O'Brien finds out I can wrap his bat for 20, is he going to lay off me or not? Holy smoke. He's due to find it out. Mr. Pacello, can't you know you're... Whatever it is, no. You're gonna do what I tell you to. Look, oh, what's the matter with you? What's this mean? Where did this come from? Came by messenger about ten minutes ago. And you opened it. I opened it. Mm. No, I didn't think it was possible for anybody to be a cop and a gentleman at one and the same time. Uh, what have you been doing and what does this stop me? It's all part of something that's bigger than my own. Get out of my way. Where are you going? To attend to my business. Oh, no, you're not. You've got just as far as you're going. When you come here, you said you were all free, and I believe you. Now you've all don't go find me what I've been doing. I thank you to let me go my way. And that'll take you right back where I found you. Oh, so watch it. Right back to where you found me. Why aren't you new papers there in the master room? You're poking your nose into something that's my order here. So please let me pass and pass. Please right. You're not the team, me, sort of down. You're not going anywhere. You're going to do what I tell you from now on. You're broken every promise you ever made me. Now you're going to stay here and mend the man like it. You've lied to me. You're calling me a liar? Yes, I'm calling you a liar. Come on. People, listen to that door. 
Keep away from that door or I'll let you have it. You will know. You will call me a liar. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you just at the spot? I'll be here pretty quick. Yeah, Police headquarters. Police headquarters. Give me Lieutenant O'Brien. Here you are. O'Brien talking. Yes, this is Lieutenant O'Brien. Oh, uh, hello, Lieutenant. Hmm? Why don't you know? Mike Patello. Say, I was just wondering how you'd like to drop up here for a little while. Oh, a social call. Oh. Something to show me. Well, Mike, I... Just a minute, Mike. Made by Manuel Lopez. Especially for Mike Patello. That's all we need. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mike. I'll be right over. Wait a minute, Bill. I'm going to send the squad over here. No, Captain. Michael, have a dozen lookouts planted. I want to get in. I know it's too late, but I want to dummy. I was the one. Oh, stop that, O'Brien. You got anything? You tell the kid you have to talk. You got nothing to blame yourself for. But I'm still going alone. Get that side of wire open when you got on you. Right. Oh, Captain, give me the door. Where is he? Go to bring in Mike for Captain. It's a trap. The Lord knows you'll get nervous enough to go and challenge him. The Lord may have intended to be a trap, so we're ready for that. Oh, why did you let him go? There he goes. Now, you in the shop for me. I'll call you. The boys are handled. It always goes through. Come in, O'Brien. He'll be right in. How are you, Brian? My name is Patello. Patello? Mike Patello. Hmm. Not lawyer. A light glass in the room. Sit down. Like a drink? No, Mr. Patel, I don't quite understand, but what am I doing here? Well, your friend Lionel Lewis told me about you. Mm. What did he tell you? The work. And? And I thought you might want to do a little of that for me. Oh, I didn't. You said Lionel bring that point up here for some reason. They take me down for a spree when somebody out there. Are you letting a fight with that? Sure, why not? Now, what is it you want of me? You'll find out soon. I'm not going to wait to find out, Patello. I don't like the look of you or the sound of you. Hmm. You wait, all right. <laughs> now, Mr. Patello. Hello, Brian. Come in. Come on, Mike. Sorry to keep you waiting. My servants are out. Yeah? Come inside. You want a drink? No, oh, thanks. Nice idea to come up with Brian. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Mind if I smoke? Certainly not. Would you like one? 
They're very nice. Where do you get them? Billy Banana Lopez. For a very special customer. Yeah. And what's that supposed to mean? There's a cigar like that Mike at headquarters. And it was found in the room from which Johnny Dale was shot. So it means that you're under arrest for the murder of Johnny Dale. Dead to right, sir. Dead to right. Well, as long as we're going to take a ride together. How about it? What? Can I get my overcoat? Where is it? In that closet. Get it. Well, Copper, I guess you've got another pinch to make. Look behind that couch. You're very slow. When one crook kills another, they still call it murder. Even if one of them's your own father. What have you got to tell me? There's nothing I can say. It can do me no good enough. How'd you get here? What happened? It's only on making go. All right, done it. I guess you don't want either of us, do you, Copper? <laughs> you can't take me without taking him. And if you take him, he'll burn. So this is the business you have, huh? I got myself into it. That's all you need to know. That's all you ever will know. I'll take me own rap, see? You see that door? You're going out of it, alone. When you go through it, don't ever let me see you again. Now get off! You think you're getting me better than I deserve, don't you? Well, thanks very much. I swear that you croaked Tony Zurich for the murder of Johnny Dale. Then we're home. The clear. How are you doing? I'm going to call police headquarters. You're still under arrest. I'm under arrest. Under arrest. Save you gone crazy. You're about to pinch me now after what you've done. That's it. Quite so. You're going to call the station. Why, you're dumb, flat-footed bull. You can't pinch me. And that's after I'm in the can. That's the time to pick up the world going to learn that you turned the murder loose. If you use that phone, you're still on the force of doing this town through for life. You're a cop, you fool. And you've got the murder to release that force. We'll take a 20-year rap and I can make it stink. Listen. I lose and I know it. I'm through. And so are you. We'll go together. Oh, you're gone insane. That cool cost you 20 years. 20 years to get here. Hello, Captain. I've got the cello. Well, you're good enough for me, O'Brien. You've got guts. But now, I think I heard you say that you close. Well, you were right. But you didn't know how. Right. Now, what? I'm going to tell you something. Tony's already cloaked Johnny Dale. I paid him off. Now I'm going to pay you off. Why couldn't you leave me alone with that? That. You know, I can't believe it. Yes, easy, lad. There again, lad. Get 
Sky on the You go faster. Is play left? My thing is. Four o'clock. I don't belong on this job any longer. Where are you going? What are you going to do? I don't know. It don't matter much. Where have you gone? I want to hear from you. All right. Bill! Oh, Bill. I can't let you go like this without... Oh, I know how it goes. Now it's bad. But I couldn't let you go without first asking you to forgive me. Honey, I love you. What's <laughs> up? The plan squad is going out. I'll be back in time for dinner. Well, city department. Who? O'Brien, eh? Okay. Yeah, I'll get a statement. Thanks, Charlie. Bye. Give me police headquarters. Police headquarters. Mm -hmm. Bedroom. Just a moment, please. Hello. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Good. Sure, I'll pull my story in as soon as I see O'Brien. Bye. Boys, there's a break for you. Tell me just one. Bill O'Brien's got a lieutenancy for making that patellar pinch. Yeah. What did I tell you guys? I said it wouldn't happen if I was the only cop around here that had guts enough to pinch patellar for murder. Well, it may have taken guts to pinch it. But it'll take facts. If you say, ah, O'Brien pinched him, he's going to convict him. Oh. Wagon? Nah, it's the central office. Hey, it's O'Brien. Is he coming inside? Yeah. Good, I'll get him. What for? You don't think he's going to talk, do you? Sure he will. Not in that. Try, he won't. Oh, you think so? Wait. Oh, Bill. Come on in a minute. Oh, hello, William. Oh, Lieutenant, I mean. Sure there, Bill. I knew you had a kid. Tell that. Why would you? Thanks, boys. Well, Bill, let's have a story. Well, there isn't any story now. And after the trial, you won't have to ask me for one. Oh, no, you're about your clothes. Did the commissioner kiss you on both cheeks when he took you to that? Hello? Yeah. He may be a lieutenant in the homicide detail. That's all. There's nothing to say. Tell us for you. For me? Oh. Oh, Brian speaking. Daddy just told me. He's as happy about it as I am. Oh, Bill, it's wonderful for you, dear. For me? For us. I want to tell you just how much it really means to me. I've got to take the rest of my life. I can't imagine wants to see you this minute. Tell about me right now. I sure do. Me too. Awful sure. Goodbye, dear. Where did you hear about this? Well, in the district attorney's office. Yeah. I was in there for an hour, sis. In the district attorney's office? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to be the state's big witness against Mike Patello. Oh, Johnny. Well, I've got to be, sis. I'm the only one that saw Mike Patello. Oh, Johnny, you can't even imagine. If Patello's convicted on your testimony, they'll be... Try to help me for this walk. Mike's mob. Oh, they'll do something. No, you're, you're my old sister and all that. And I'll take your advice on most anything. But this time, I've got to listen to the district attorney of Bill O'Brien. Did Bill take me to talk? No. But he will. 
Hey, Ronnie, something I gotta do. You don't understand, Ruth. I just have to do it. Now, quit worrying. You don't got more important things to think about. You tell O'Brien to go and say to your office now, Captain. Right. Hello. Good Good morning, Captain. O'Brien, how long has it been since you heard from your father? Just how much do you know, Captain? How long since you've seen him? I've seen him once in 15 years, about a year ago. Does he know that you're a police officer? No, he hates cops. And he thinks they hate him. He but hated me. I kind of had to get acquainted with him. I told him something. I don't know what. You know, I knew your father when I was torn to beat him. He's a two-time loser. Now that you've got him through, he doesn't know I did it. When a man has been thinking of nothing but freedom for 10 years and gets it, it's good to let him think he got it himself. Good behavior. That's what they're telling him. Pressure made you a lieutenant because he thinks nothing can stop you. You put the cello in a cell. You're sitting in top of the world right now. But if the old man breaks his parole, he'll break you. Think that over. I've had plenty of time to think it over, Captain. You wrote the letter. That is my dad. And he's coming home. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to be there when you tell old John T. he's got a copper for his son. And I'd love to have you. Limo! Why? If it ain't old John Peel Drive. Limo, sit down. I didn't know you. I swear I didn't. It's been so long. Where'd you come from? Being in the smoking. But I thought you were... Oh, I know you. You thought I was still eating on the text, but I didn't you know it. Yeah, I did real bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I got myself out. Ow. Good behavior. Oh, you don't really believe that now, do you? Huh? You see, I was running that joint. And take a long time to blow. For what? What behavior? <laughs> oh, I was glad to see you last night. And what's more, it's the last time you ever will see. Don't make a bit, John. Get as young as you used to be. Mm -hmm. I quit myself about you. Who said anything about quitting? Did I? I did not. Uh -uh. Let's go someplace where we can talk confidential, Martin. Let's go. Let's right, hurry. Wrong with it? Oh, it's grand. Wait, you get it, Lionel. Did you uh, ever hear of Mike Pitino? Here we are, John. Hi, oh, John. Here we are. Easy, John, easy. Take out this fucking train, I'll call for the name of O'Brien. Mm. O'Brien? The toughest he broke on the force. Think he's old father. Mm. Man O'Brien's wrong, he's wrong. But... Oh, lovey, he's good. The other end, John. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Dad. Billy, Billy, my boy. How about it? Let me look at you. Oh, it's good to see you again. But you know... It's apologizing to I am for going against the lock. She signed to myself, the door's locked. It ain't locked, says I. And in two seconds, but that's right there. You know, it's, it's, it's a hairpin, does it? It's an old neck. It comes in handy. I'll show it to you. Sure, but come on over here, then. What? Come on. Mm, so, so, not feeling very well, are you? Oh, I'm feeling great. It's right down there. Oh. There you are. Oh, I nearly forgot. Look, here's a little present for you. I made it with my old lily white hair. Yeah, it's nice, there. Isn't, nice. isn't it nice? <laughs> mm, Billy, bad stuff. That's bad stuff. I never used him in 20 years. You know, can you get me some pinch one of them days? <laughs> you will? Mm -hmm. Dad, how about a nice hot coffee? It's all right. Good old coffee. I'll make you some room. Good old coffee. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Bill. Hmm? Yeah. Bill. Oh, Oh, 
What's that hungry doing in there? What have you to do with such a thing as that? Come here, Dan, and I'll tell you. Will you take your hands off me? What is all this nonsense? That's my uniform. Your uniform? My uniform. Then you... Put me on the table. Out of my way. I'll stay under the same roof with an old flat-footed bull. Get out of my way. Where are you going? Go to that door. No, you're not. I didn't want to tell you that this morning, Dad. But I've been on the force eight years. That's how I found where you were. I know you're hate, cop. But that's all over now. You're going to come here and live with me. It's not over again. Get out of my way. You're an old son of mine. Stay away from the center. Let me go. Go on. Go on. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you'll be staying out for tonight again, eh? No, I'm not that. I'm just going down to the gym for a workout. Well, then, cops again, eh? Back up from your feet, Bill. They won't do you any good. Now, listen, Dad. Those boys are all... Oh, cool. I thought the guys acted funny when I took me again. Say, didn't I mind you to pay the guys bill last week? You didn't even do it. Ain't honest, Bill. Ain't honest. Ain't it enough that I whip my fingers to the bone trying to run this place? Must I think of everything, huh? I'll attend to it tomorrow. Forget the dishes. Dad, the housekeeper will clean them up in the morning. Mm. I'm breaking on a plate. Have I broken one single dish? I have not. On what credit do I get? I'll go, Dad. So what's the matter, dear? Oh, 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 my, if you don't look up at you. Good evening, Dad. Darling, it's the pleasure of your company I'll have to be depriving myself of. I've got to go out from business, see? Good night, darling. Good night, dear. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Tell me, dear, what's the matter? Oh, Bill, try to understand me. Please try. You're the only one who can help me. It's about Johnny. Johnny? Yes. I'll make up my mind to let you do something. Promise me you will. Well, what is it? Promise me. Honey, you know you don't have to make me promise to do anything for you. This is Bill, the guy that loves you. It's a coward convicted, Bill, Bill. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You can't let him get up there and the chair. Honey, you don't seem to realize how Johnny feels. He's a cop, and a good one. That's why he's going to testify against the Johnny. Oh, I understand all of that, but there's something that you seem to forget. Johnny's just a kid. It isn't fair, Bill. But Ruth. You want a conviction, don't you, Bill? Has your ambition nothing to do with it? If I've been ambitious, you know the reason. I've tried to be something for your sake. Something besides a flat foot pounding a beat. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I could be happy with you if you were still pounding a beat. It's just that I'm so afraid. Oh, don't let Johnny talk. You need to say the way. He believes in you so. That's just why I can't ask him to be a quitter. Not even for his own sake. Not even for your sake, or mine. Bill, I ask you to do something for me. Something that meant everything. Now there's really nothing more. To be safe. Please. Why? I didn't want it to be a test, but it was. No, listen to me. Oh, I so. So much rather you said nothing. And so, don't, don't, don't say that you love me. Wait, I'll go with you. I'll ask you not to. I have a head for the car. I'm quite safe. Very well. Good night, dear. Goodbye, Bill. If it's in the window, it's phony. Three rice is in the box. Uh-huh. Maybe. Come on, Rhino. I've got a date, John. Who? Tell me, sure. You know, he's a big shot with Mike Petillo. Hmm? Yeah, Tony and me are just... Uh... Well, get out, John. You can read, can't you? Yes, why? Listen, lead it up to the room, I see. Tell me you want to write a room. Now, get this. None of the room suits you till they show you room 19. 19, see? Read it. And tear up or burn up the paper. I don't want to see it, but... Uh, Jack. No. Take two weeks out of the room and uh, keep the rest. What do you think, Mr. Jerry? Let me in on it. Listen, I'm giving you a nice little place where you can be happy at. See? Because I like you, see? Hey, but you want me to lay your age on me. Sure, that's it. How about a smoking, Mr. Jerry? No, they're too good for you. You wouldn't understand them. But tell us, Brian. The curb. Scram. What is it, Tony? A job for Patilla? Open your trap and I think I'm next. That room is poison, see? Oh, I see. I've got to plant this right. It's getting hot. I'm the spot, John. My room. Here, take the key. Are you sure you'll be safe? As if it was in a grave, John. Here. Smoke a real one. This is Patello's private grave. Mm. All right, thanks, Lionel. 
Listen, I'll tell you how to get there. Take a course down call. Oh, no, sweetie. Walk down call. Number 19. 19. Play on it? No, Bill. You might win. <laughs> well, I gotta be on the way. Good night, Bill. Good night, John. Hey, uh, Johnny. Yeah. Close the door. <clears throat> Before you go, I want to tell you something. Yeah, sure. The district attorney wants you to testify against the fellow, doesn't he? Well, sure. Well, kid, he can't make you say you saw the killing if you don't want to. Well, he isn't gonna have to make me say it. I'm gonna talk and talk plenty. Listen, we have to get the mob that's dynamite. I want you to remember that you've got to know. Nix, Bill. I know you're looking at it that way on my account, but maybe I am. Sure you are. And gee, Bill, I... You know how much I... Oh, say. We'll be working together long after that rat's where he belongs. That's right, kid, but just the same. Remember what I told you. Don't you go worrying about me. All right, boy. Good night, Bill. Good night, Johnny. Captain, you could have knocked me down with the toothpick when I found out that you were Bill O'Brien's father. You recovered the stuff? No, sir. O'Brien know anything yet? No, sir. When I found out who John P. was, I went in. Things put it together so good is why I brought him in. Now I've come to you to find out where I stand. Where are you at, John P.? Right outside, sir. Step in there, man. I close the door. Can you hear me now? Just as plain as if I was in the same room with you, sir. Yes. I want you to bring John P. into that room from the outer entrance and don't let him say a word. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And remember, don't let him in the same room no matter what happens in here. Okay, Captain. Yeah. Hello, Ruth. Send Bill up to my office, will you, please? Come How do you feel about tomorrow, Bill? Yes, yeah. sir. You mean the trial? Yeah. Yes, well, sir. This is going to arrest his case when Dale Dale comes off the stand. Ah, oh, that's smart. The defense won't be able to do very much with a jury that just hurt that boy to tell the truth. Then you look worried. Is that your father? No, Captain. Perhaps you should be. Why do you say that? I've been wondering about your father. I've been wondering if he's on a swear with you. What do you think? I'm sure. How sure? Positive. Captain, I've come to know my dad lately. I know the stuff he's made of. What he's got in him. He's doing on the level with me. And I've got everything I have in the world. Don't worry about it. Hope you're right. Yeah, you got a hard name. Okay, Captain. Wait a minute, Sit down. No take it standing up if you don't mind. You don't remember me, do you, Brian? I know you. I know all about you. You do? Yes. You've broken the parole your son got for you. You'll double cross him in the big house. He's looking at you. You say it was Billy got me for home? You don't suppose you done it, do you? So it was Billy. You'd be up there yet if it for him. Why have you done with that stuff in the jewelry store? Who? Oh. Well, I'm going to do it. Good. I'm going to give you one chance to come clean. You don't deserve it, but your boy does. He tried to make a father out of you. Bring that stuff here. I'll put you in the clear, but it'll be for the last time. I'm never told, Billy? Certainly not. Why do you think I'm giving you this break? Oh, bless you, Captain. I'll bring it to you in my own hands. Well, let me tell you something. I want to know Brian's wrong. 
He's wrong. And it takes enough brain to put him right. I'm going to put you back in there for the murder of Johnny Dale. Yeah. And when are you going to make the pin? When would you like it? Suppose you wait until you can make it stick. I'll wait just that long. You can't. There isn't that much time. The rest of my life is affected. But the odds are 100 to 1 that I'm going to live the longest. I'll take the short end of that at any odds. You can not be released, Mr. Hill. Okay. Court order. Mr. Clay, move for this. What else could he do? Please, come on, get it open. to my car. Oh, I'll take you down myself. Why, Mike, I wouldn't have anything happen to you for all the money in the world. Someone was there ahead of me. Must have been the guy who hired the room for you. Um, not a chance. How do you know? Somebody squealed, I tell you. So what are you raving about? Somebody squealed. This guy O'Brien is dragging me with my nut. 
And he's out to get you. And that worries you. Not a bit. Why should it? If they hang anything on you, nothing's going to happen to me. Oh, no. Not a thing. No, sir. Okay. Oh. Well, that's where they've been going, huh? Listen. Those cigars are made for Mr. Mike Patello. No one smokes them but Mr. Mike Patello. You know that. Put them back. Hey, you. Where have you been? Just heard you wanted me, Mr. Jordan. You came up as quick as you could. Inside. This is the monk. What's your name? Uh, Lionel. Uh, Tony Lewis, Mr. Piccolo. Did you ever see this before? Why? I thought the old man had got it. What old man? Why, the old man. He'll leave me out of Tony. He'll quote me. The old man, O'Brien? Oh, Tony, you don't understand. He's a cop's old man. He ran it over. What did you say? Oh, Mr. Piccolo, I've got to have this stuff. What was that crack about? Huh? Nothing, Mr. Piccolo. I only... Uh, what about the cop's old man? The cops all made a fan job. What cop? Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien's father. That's stuff there. Oh, I don't know nothing about it, Mr. Piccolo. Except that Lieutenant William O'Brien's father is a crook. No, no, Mr. Piccolo, you don't get me. Mm. No. I don't get you. Oh, no. Tony, does this mean anything to you? Sure. I believe him. Yeah. You do. Mm -hmm. The trouble with you, Tony, is you never learn to think. Now try harder, and I'll teach you. Bill O'Brien is out to get us, right? I suppose I don't know it. His old man turns out to be a crook. Yeah. He can do 20 years for that. What would that do to O'Brien? Why did it bust him? Mm. You're showing signs. <laughs> when Bill O'Brien finds out I can wrap his back for 20, he's going to lay off me or not? Holy oh, shit. He's due to find it out. Mr. Piccolo, can't you know Whatever you're... it is, no. You're going to do what I tell you to. What's the matter with you? What's that mean? Where did this come from? Came by messenger about ten minutes ago. And you opened it? I opened it. Mm. No, I didn't think it was possible for anybody to be a cop and a gentleman at one and the same time. Uh, what have you been doing and what does it stop me? It's all part of something that's fixed to my own. Get out of my way. Where are you going? To attend to my business. Oh, no, you're not. You've got just as far as you're going. When you come here, you said you were all through, and I believe you. Now you're all, don't tell me what I've been doing. I want you to let me go my way. And that'll take you right back to where I found you. Oh, so watch it. Right back to where you found me. Why aren't you in the business end of the night? You're putting your nose into coming out of my office here. So please let me pass and pass. Keep the right. You're not between me, sort of down. You're not going anywhere. You're going to do what I tell you from now on. You're broken every promise you ever made me. Now you're going to stay here and mend the man like it. You've lied to me. You're calling me a liar? Yes, I'm calling you a liar. Come on. Keep away from that door. Keep away from that door or I'll let you have it. You will know. You will call me a liar. Yeah. Okay. One hand only, just left the spot. So I'll be here pretty quick. Yes, sir. Police headquarters. Police headquarters? Give me Lieutenant O'Brien. Here you are. O'Brien talking. Yes, this is Lieutenant O'Brien. Oh, uh, hello, Lieutenant. Hmm? Why don't you know? Mike Patello. Hey, I was just wondering how you'd like to drop up here for a little while. Oh, a social call. Oh. Something to show me. Well, Mike, I... Just a minute, Mike. Made by Manuel Lopez. Especially for Mike Patello. That's all we need. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mark. I'll be right over. Wait a minute, Bill. I'm going to send the squad over here. No, Captain. Michael, have a dozen lookouts planted. I want to get in. I know it's too late, but I want to dummy. I want the world. Stop that, O'Brien. You don't have anything to You tell the kids in here to talk. You got nothing to blame yourself for. But I'm still going alone. I'll get that side of wire open when you tell him you. Right. Don't defend him like the captain. It's a trap. No, no, Bill, don't let him have to go. He's telling him. Tell him they're intended to be a trap. So we're waiting for that. Oh, why did he let him go? There he goes. Oh, he wouldn't have stopped for me. I saw you, Luke. Come on, boys, they can't help him. It's always so good. Well, Captain, what happened? Nothing.
Come in, O'Brien. He'll be right in. Who are you, Ben? My name is Patello. Patello? Mike Patello. Hmm. Not lawyer. A light glass in the Sit down. Wait a drink? No, sir. Mr. Patello? Not allowed to quite understand, but what am I doing here? Well, your friend Lionel Nance told me about you. Hmm. What did he tell you? The work. And? And I thought you might want to do a little event for me. Oh, even. You should want to bring that point up here for some reason. They take me down for a spree when somebody I'll bet. Are you willing to fight with your class? Sure, why not? No. What did you want with me? You'll find out soon enough. I'm not going to wait to find out, but hello. I don't like the look of you or the sound of you. Hmm. You wait, all right. <laughs> now, Mr. Patel, what? Hello, Brian. Come in. Hello, Mike. Sorry to keep you waiting. My servants are out. Yeah? Come inside. You want a drink? No, thanks. Nice of you to come up, Brian. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Mind if I smoke? Certainly not. Would you like one? Thanks. Good. They're very nice. Where do you get them? Billy by Manuel Lopez. For a very special custom. Yeah. And what's that supposed to mean? There's a cigar like that night at headquarters. And it was found in the room from which Johnny Dale was shot. So it means that you're under arrest for the murder of Johnny Dale. Dead to right, sir. Dead to right. Well, as long as we're going to take a ride together, how about it? What? Can I get my overcoat? Where is it? In that closet. Get it. Well, Copper, I guess you've got another pinch to make. Look behind that couch. You're very When one crook kills another, they still call it murder. Even if one of them's your own father. What have you got to tell me? There's nothing I can say. It can do me no good now. How'd you get here? What happened? It's all me own making dope. All right, damn it. I guess you don't want either of us, do you, Copper? <laughs> you can't take me without taking him. And if you take him, he'll burn. So this is the business you had, huh? I got myself into it. That's all you need to know. That's all you ever will know. I'll take me own rap, see? You see that door? 
You're going out of it. Alone. When you go through it, don't ever let me see you again. Now, get off. You think you're getting me better than I deserve, don't you? Well, thanks, Billy Red. You've got to do is swear that you croaked Tony Zurich for the murder of Johnny Dale. Then we're all clear. What are you doing? I'm going to call police headquarters. You're still under arrest. I'm under arrest. Under arrest. Say, you've gone crazy. You're going to pinch me now after what you've done. That's it. Quick, stop. You're going to call the station. Why, you dumb, flat-footed boy, you can't pinch me. And that's after I'm in the can of the time to pick up the world, boy, to learn that you turned the murder loose. If you use that phone, you're still on the force to ruin this town, so for life. You're a copy of fool. You've got the murder to release that force. take a 20-year rap and I can make it stink. Listen. I lose and I know it. I'm through. And so are you. We'll go together. Oh, you're gone insane. That call cost you 20 years. How many years are you here? Hello, Captain. I've got the fellow. Well, you're good enough for me, O'Brien. You've got guts. But now! I think I heard you say it was. Now you were right. But you didn't know how. Now, Flatfoot, I'm going to tell you something. Tony Zurich broke Johnny Dale. I paid him off. Now I'm going to pay you off. Too bad. Bill. Why couldn't leave you alone with that? That. Well, I can see you. Yes, easy, lad. There again, huh? You go far, sir. He's great, lad. My thing is, poor cop. I don't belong on this job any longer. Where are you going? What are you going to do? I don't know. It don't matter much. Wherever you go, I want to hear from you. All right. I can't let you go like this without... Oh, I know how to go, how it's bad. But I couldn't let you go without this asking you to forgive me. Honey, I love you. What's that? The plan's going to go now. I'll be back in time for dinner. 